Let me go over here and just address y'all and also our YouTube community. We recently just made a YouTube partner um, for our whole inspector series and also low key a Final Fantasy 14 video, but we are officially a YouTube partner and have unlocked uh, YouTube memberships. There are four separate tiers for uh, YouTube membership right now. If you would like to support the channel additionally, obviously no one is ever required, but that comes with a few little extra perks if you would like to do that. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to thank you guys so, 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 so fucking much for helping us get there. It was a goal of mine to get YouTube Partner 2023, and we did it literally just under the fucking wire. We will inspect your I am. <laughs> Never mind, these next three. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. New Dickie going live right now. Am I the asshole for laughing at my sister-in-law and telling her I have zero desire to raise her child? How split is this, Dickie? What do we got? 5% asshole, 95% not the asshole. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, uh, this went... This turned fucking instantly. I, 44F, am married to my hubby, Jimmy, 48M, for over two decades. My parents died suddenly in a car accident 10 years ago. I have a younger sister, Abigail, 39F, with Down syndrome, and Jimmy and I are guardians. Abigail is my sweet angel on earth. When my parents passed, I was a working mother of three young kids helping to build our family business with my husband. At first, Abigail lived with us full time. Jimmy has always been at my side with her care and loves her to bits. After a few months, we realized that my sister needed more attention than we could give her. There was just not enough time in the day. We discussed what would be best for her and decided to put her in a private adult home for special needs folks. It's very costly, over 10K a month? and comes from our own finances. That's so expensive. Fuck, dude. The facility does all sorts of activities and field trips. She loves her home, her friends, and the special days the facility hosts. We are always stopping by to either visit, sign her out on holidays to spend with family, keep her overnight for special sleepovers with the kids, or take her on every vacation with us. We never go more than 24 hours without one of us making sure she's okay. That's nice. Yeah, that that price is exploitative, 100%. Once again, capitalism is the asshole. Now on to the issue. I have a sister-in-law, Jenny, 42F, who had her first child after years of trying. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> Golden child, no! She's become the typical first time mom who believes she invented motherhood and is openly opinionated about things she believes other parents fall short on. I mostly ignore her and so does Jimmy. We hosted a barbecue at my house for Labor Day with my father-in-law, mother-in-law, Jenny, her husband, baby, and my kids. Abigail had a planned trip to the zoo and asked if she could go. Of course, we said it was okay. While we were eating, Jenny turned to me and asked me where Abigail was. Her tone was more accusatory than questioning. I simply didn't want to get into it with Jenny, so I said Abigail wanted to stay at the home. Jenny then turned to her hubby and said, See, this is why I... See, this is why it won't ever happen? My mother-in-law asked Jenny what she was talking about. Jenny, all snarky, said to the whole table, we did our wills last week and knew these two wouldn't be suitable as guardians of our baby if something happened to us. They tossed her sister into a home rather than be a f real family to her. I won't let that happen to my child. Wow, in front of the whole fucking family, huh? 
You had some real fucking grievances that you decided to air out right now instead of using your words like an adult and having a fucking conversation with another person, huh? You had to stir up family drama in front of everyone for no fucking reason, huh? I didn't let it show, but I was extremely hurt she could say this. Instead of yelling, I laughed at her and said, Oh, that's great news since I have zero desire to raise your kid. More was said, but that's the gist of it. Jenny left with her family, calling me nasty swear words as she walked out. I might have said a few swear words myself right back at her. It's been over a month now, and Jimmy is still getting nasty texts from Jenny demanding I apologize. My mother-in-law knows she overstepped with her comment, but is asking me to be the bigger person and say sorry to keep the peace. I refuse. Am I the asshole? You know what? You know what? Fuck being the bigger person. I am fucking tired of being the bigger person all the time. I'm going to be the pettier person. Fuck you. Fuck what you stand for. I don't need to make myself smaller in order to placate to someone who's a fucking asshole. Fuck you. Don't be the bigger person. Be the fucking problem. Top comment here is not the asshole and Jenny is a major asshole. If she had actual concern, she should have talked to you or her brother. And if she had half a brain, she would see that sometimes living in a group home is better than with family who don't have the time or resources to properly care or enrich the life of a person with special needs. Sounds like you are still involved in Abigail's life and she's happy. That's what's important. Also, if sister-in-law does feel this way, she doesn't need to make it known and do it in such a hurtful and insulting way. Yeah. Yeah. Last, last hole inspection. I can't just search mom. Chrysanthemum. Am I the asshole for using my brain injury as an excuse for not being able to remember anything? I was in a deadly car crash three years ago that left me in a coma for months. I'm physically okay now as all the broken bones and stuff have healed up. Mentally, well, among other things, I have really bad short-term memory loss. It's like 50 first dates. Or, oh, I can remember everything that happened leading up to the accident, but not what happened afterward. It's really frustrating to deal with. Yes, I'm in therapy before you ask. One of my cousins recently changed her name. Unfortunately for me, she picked a name that is very similar to her old one. Chrysanthemum over Chris. I've tried to remember her name. I really did. But it's like everything else that happened after my accident. I will forget. She's made it clear that she doesn't want to go by the nickname or by Chris, so I try to make an effort to call her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum came over for a barbecue today, and once again, I accidentally called her by her old name. Chrysanthemum started to yell at me and called me a bunch of things I don't want to repeat here. I lost it and yelled at her, reminding her that I can't remember anything because I have literal brain damage from one of the worst traffic accidents in our state's history. The rest of the family sided with me because of my brain damage excuse. Chrysanthemum left, but she's been spamming my voicemail and calling me a shithead for humiliating her like that. Her friends have also been harassing me nonstop. Was I really an asshole for reminding her that I have brain damage and explaining that that's why I can't remember? I've been trying to make an effort to remember her new name. I just can't remember it due to my brain's inability to create short-term memories. This isn't the only trouble I've run into. I can't remember the names of my relative spouses who got married after 2018 or their kids who were born after my accident. I couldn't even recognize my sister after she got a haircut because I remember her having long blonde hair. Edit. My cousin isn't trans. She just really hated her old name. Weird thing is, I have a friend who is trans. I still accidentally call her by her old name, but she has a necklace with her new name on it, so it helps me remember. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, right, King. Her and her friends are ridiculous for getting that, that angry. OP has fucking brain damage. Literally the inability to create short-term memories. Uh, top comment here is not the asshole. Of course, you would be the asshole if you were making up the brain damage. But given the circumstances, it's pretty shitty to blame you for something you have no control over. I don't see what more you can do. You are trying. Harassing you for having brain damage isn't a good look. Maybe you should remind them of that. Honestly, neurotypicals will call explanations excuses a lot of the time when you are literally tr just trying to explain and get to a deeper understanding of what you're talking about. 
I'm not making excuses. I'm explaining to you the actual factual situation. So I think that's a lot like a societal thing that we have. Yeah, uh, so OP is absolutely in no world whatsoever an asshole at all. Okay, I need another keyword. Another keyword for us to look up a uh, post. Palpatine? Oh my God, okay. Um, we got a, we've got a Palpatine post. What the fuck? Am I the asshole for calling my mom a homophobe in front of my family? Palpatine. Yeah, this is a this is basically a freebie. There's no fucking way that you're an asshole for this. Some backstory. My parents are very religious and they believe that gay people shouldn't be married. Oh my god, finally! A rel overly religious family. Let's go. We haven't had one of those in forever. I should not be air horning this. This is not a good situation. Most of my family just deals with them being this way. I, however, was getting really sick and tired of it. Me and my family were having a family meeting and it got on the topic of homosexuality. And my parents, once again, especially my mom, start their outlandish rant about how, quote, gays shouldn't be allowed to marry, end quote, blah, 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 total bullshit in my opinion. I couldn't care less about who you marry as long as you're happy with them. Now this time she said something along the lines of, we honestly really shouldn't even really associate with them because they might turn us gay. Oh my God. As if they're Emperor Palpatine and we're fucking Anakin turning us to the dark side. And that's how we got here from Palpatine. <laughs> what? This got her some looks and I asked her why we couldn't associate with another human being regardless of who or what they were. And I don't know why, but her response ticked me off so much. She says, oh, come on, stanky bot, which is this person's username. Don't tell me you have gay friends. I thought you were better than this. To which I yelled back, at least I'm not a homophobe and treat every human with respect. Treating people who are homosexual different isn't very Christ-like of you. And I stormed off. <laughs> Fucking drag her ass. Drag her ass, baby. I have not I have now received not one, not two, but five different texts from different family members telling me about how my actions have caused a lot of damage. Oh, go fucking cry about it. Oh, I caused some damage. My mom was the one fucking talking about how the gays were trying to turn her gay. What? The only person who thinks what I did was right is my older sister. Am I the asshole in this situation? Because it seems like everyone in my family believes so. Uh, edit for all of you kind people. I got my phone taken away for a while and my laptop, so I didn't have a whole lot of ways to communicate on the internet. I appreciate all the support. It means a lot to me and my mom aren't on speaking terms still. They put a restriction on my phone, but I figured out the password. I'll try to get to all the comments now. Let's fucking go, Stanky Bot. Let's go, Stanky Bot. Stanky Bot's a good one. Get over here, Spody. Let me eat you. Let me eat ya! Let me suck your juices! Come here! <laughs>